is Shauna Bernardin, and I'm here with Global Groomers. And today I'd like to share uh, a little haircut with you. This is little Bella, and she's a two-year-old Morky. She's very nervous, so that's part of why I want to do this little demonstration for you. A couple of things to keep in mind. Uh, when I first started grooming her, she was very, very fearful. And so this is called a happy hoodie, and it's just one little thing that I use with her. Uh, first of all, in the morning when she comes in, I always greet her and I spend an extra couple minutes just playing with her and talking to her. And this, I just put over her ears and it calms her right down. And also, if you notice, I have a little fatigue mat underneath of her. So all of those things, I'm really proud of her because she was so, so scared when I first started doing her. And now, just with a little bit of work, she's come a long way. So I'm just going to start off, this is just a regular, everyday kind of commercial teddy bear that you guys can make some nice money on. And you know why? Because she has just come a long way. So we're going to just do a, a little commercial teddy bear or puppy cut. Uh, there's a bunch of different names for it. I'm going to show you my wall Barbera, and I'm going to use that on my 5-in-1 blade on the number 40 blade. And for her, I like the peach. Uh, she mats quite easily and her owner has a hard time keeping up with the brushing. So we use the peach on her body. And I'm just going to run it. Now make sure that the, the animal is back and blow dry before you're going to start. And I'm just running it straight up. Now one thing I really like about these wall clippers is that they're very quiet. That is especially important on a little girl like her. She was so nervous when she first started. So I always try to make sure everything is nice and quiet and calm when she comes in. I find that if you diffuse the situation, it's really gonna make a nice difference for you guys. So I usually try to take off the body three times. So the first time I just kind of take it off, I'm not too concerned, but I am always gonna work in the direction that the hair grows. I don't want to cross grain it because you're going to get really bad grooves in the, in the hair. It's really hard to take that out. So we take that off. Then I'm just going to take a little spritzer and I'm going to back brush it up. And now the second time that I shave it off, I'm going to use a little bit more love on it. So I'm just going to pull the skin a little bit tight and you can see how much hair I'm getting off the second time. So you're going to go through and you're going to do that three times. Now you can do a number one all the way down the leg. That's just going to be a little bit shorter. Or if you want to add a little tiny bit of Hollywood, just use the yellow or the zero. And you just slide that attachment on to the end of your clipper. You're okay, go. <clears throat> and you're just going to run that straight down the leg. And the same rule applies, you're gonna do that three times. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shave all those up and then we're gonna come back and we'll see you some more. So I'm just back at the end of the little haircut with Bella. Now just keep me in mind, she's very nervous. And because she is very nervous, I couldn't do the whole haircut live today. She's just not quite ready for that. And I'm really proud of how she's come along. And just to recap, we've done her body with the Brown number one attachment under our Barbera from Wall with a 40 blade. And I just wanted to show you at the end how uh, one quick little trick, and I think she's able to handle this. It's a great little trick. I use it every day <clears throat> for trimming ears. And if you just comb the ears straight down, and you set a guide at the end of your fingers and you use your Wall Barbera on a 40 blade. <laughs> Just set your guideline. And you're just gonna shave it off. I always really struggled with the getting the ears straight, and this is the greatest little trick I learned since I've been grooming dogs. So you're just gonna go again, you're gonna just take it straight down to the very end and set a guideline. I'm just gonna shave that off. And for me, I've been able to get the ears much straighter by doing that. So the other thing that I always do with these little guys, especially when they're super nervous, and she, she's just been such a nervous girl, 
is I just spend a couple minutes at the very end of it and I just give her a little extra love. I hope you guys really enjoyed this and I'll be back lots this year. Thank you for all your shares and likes and please subscribe.